Um, I just want to make a quick video on how to, if you have an instrument, how to sample it within Logic. Uh, to give an example, my dad showed me this nifty clay flute he apparently picked up in uh, Juarez, Mexico. Um, and I can't play it, but it has a good sound. Um, and I've heard other people play it, and it sounds amazing. And I'd love to use it in some of my instrument, you know, my, my songs as an instrument. Um, you know, maybe as an atmospheric type thing. So here's what I can do. Yeah, um, nothing. Uh, that was my point. So what we're going to do, um, and I'll flip over to Logic here in a second, is we're going to record a note and put it in a sampler and basically make it into an instrument. Hey, so, so now that we're in Logic, um, I went ahead and recorded me playing a note on the, the flute, the one that had the best tone quality to it. Um, and unfortunately, I can't show you me recording it because somehow the reason I, the way I have the setups with the inputs and stuff, it just gave really bad feedback, which wasn't fun. So here's the recording of it. Let me play it back for you real quick. I guess there's a lot of artifacts in there. First note was bad. And see that we can work with. So we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna edit out the bad by coming to the scissor tool and cutting it right in front of the note we want. So when we play it, well, we can actually get in a little closer and uh, snip it off even better. And if you notice, there's a little bit of sludge here on the back end as well. I'll just go ahead and cut that off. That was just me clicking to stop the recording. Um, yeah, so that's what we're working with. Um, the first thing to do probably would be, if for this particular setting and um, or scenario and you have to change it, is um, to mess with the EQ so it doesn't sound quite so bad. It's a little better. Um, you can only improve it so much, you know. And probably a compressor would do it some good. Okay, and uh, probably last but not least, a denoiser. Get rid of some of that hiss that's going on in there. And that's of course because I'm using just the, the mono mic on my MacBook Pro. Um, so now once we have it going through these effects, we're going to take this and we're going to hit Bounce Regions, uh, which is going to create a new audio track of this edited audio. So this audio down here is the same as above, except it's already gone through the EQ compressor and denoiser. So now we're going to come and, uh, whoops, not that, and create a uh, new software instrument. I'm going to open up the sampler, ESX24, or EXS, sorry, and go over here to edit. And uh, under the edit menu, we're just going to take this audio file and literally drag it in. And now, when I play on my MIDI keyboard, So, we've got something kind of workable that I can actually play, which is still an improvement over what I could do originally, which is play one bad note. Um, and I'm not going to save this because I've already done this once before, and I'll go ahead and show you that. Um, and I called it Mayan Spirit Flute because I was looking for that kind of um, atmospheric effect. So. And what I did in this case, because it's a mono sound, well, first off, I, I changed the uh, release. So instead of being an instantaneous release, which makes it sound really unnatural, put it up to about, mm, I don't know, somewhere around 50 milliseconds. Makes it a little more natural and raise the, the top of the attack um, just a little bit. About 15 milliseconds. Um, 
And then I put it through a sample delay, which delays just the, the right by uh, 200 SAMs. I don't even know what SAMs are, but units of time to kind of widen it. And then we did the same thing with the left, but only 99. So about 100 and then 200 on the other one, which helps to widen it further. Um, then we stuck it through just two reverb units um, to give it that atmosphericness that I like. So you get the idea. Um, it's a fairly nice sounding instrument, especially considering what it came from being a clay flute that I can't play at all. Um, be a nice addition to you know some sort of song in the future. But you could use the same kind of technique for um, a lot of different other instruments. Um, if you're trying to look for a unique sound, just find a unique, unique instrument that you can at least play one note on and you know, sample it, see what you can do. Um, so I hope this helps.